Hello everybody, Stuart McAdam here and welcome to today's McAdam Marketing Podcast where we're going to be having a look at the Facebook Ads Library and the different things you can use in it and discover and how it can give you a competitive edge over your competitors. Just before we get started with the discussion today, don't forget to hit that like button down below and if you are new to the channel and you enjoy content which is talking about facebook and instagram marketing consider subscribing to the channel as well so one of the biggest advantages which the ad library has is it allows you to actually go in and have a look at what not only your competitors are doing but what other advertisers out there at the moment are doing as well and if you have a look at perhaps one of the biggest names out there with Facebook advertising, Russell Brunson, you can have a first-hand look at every single ad that is active right now that he has set up. And as you can see, there is just a whole range of ads that run with all of the different offers and different types of lead magnets that he's got right now, as well as perhaps the One Funnel Away Challenge and also just ClickFunnels itself. So it's a huge wide variety of different things and you can go really far back and see you know some of the ads that may be inactive um, if we just zoom in right over here but for the ads that are active you can see it's showing up right over there and a great thing about the facebook ads library if you come up to the top you can select by country um, and it's got pretty much every country there is um, that is allowing Facebook at the moment, including um, some of the smaller countries around the world and countries that you may not have thought were on there at the moment. So if you are in a small country or region, you know, there is a lot of hope if you've got Facebook uh, in the country and you can access it. Um, they've got a whole range of places available. And you can also filter it out based on the type of ad it is, whether it is just a general ad, which is all ads, or if it's related to something in particular, such as uh, you know social issues, elections, politics, whether it's related to property, uh, employment, or uh, credit-based advertising. And you can also filter it down to based on a number of different things. So if we zoom in here, you can see that it can be filtered based on the language that's being spoken. It can be filtered based on the platform which the ad is being shown on. You can select the media type, whether it's image, a meme, an image and meme, a video, or neither. And that's quite an interesting tool because it's something that's been added in reasonably recently um, that you can filter it out by the different media types. So it allows you to identify what type of advertising your competition may be running if they've got multiple ads and which ones have been running the longest uh, static image uh, or video or memes or both. And it really just gives you an ability to you know, do some good market research as you're going along. We've also got you know, ads that are active or inactive and if we are to select the inactive ads, it actually provides a good learning curve into the types of ads that, does, that don't work. So, you know, Russell Brunson's a pretty good marketer. You know, he's been in the industry a long time. He knows it really well, but even he does have some failures. And you can see here that there are a couple of ads that have come up here that have really... Um, not hit the mark or have had a limited shelf life and for this example right here you know the simplifying your message um, visit Instagram profile this may come from ads that are not whose features are no longer available but it also may come from the fact that you know it's just not relevant anymore and let's pull back uh, right here and on this example right here um, if we zoom in if you look at the ad library here, you can also input a particular keyword. So let's type in funnel, which is something that's very relevant to his particular industry. And voila, 
we've got a whole range of different ads um, that are starting to come up. And this is the newest one, which has just been posted. And you can see here, there are um, some ads related to ClickFunnels 2.0, most important piece of a funnel. The list continues to go on and on. And that's quite a cool little feature as well. And if we come across to the ad library report, this is something that is very interesting because you can see here um, a couple of the different tools and trackers that are being shown up here. So in New Zealand, for example, the total number of ads, 71,028, with the total ad spend being $8,464,598. And if we had to zoom down a little bit and see spending by uh, advertiser in not just the um, last day, but also the last seven days, 30 days, 90 days, and you know, all dates as well. So if we go to the last 90 days, for example, we can see here that there have been a couple of advertisers that have spent you know quite significant amounts of money the new zealand labor party has spent one hundred sixty three thousand four hundred twenty three dollars gen less one hundred twenty nine thousand five hundred four act um ninety two thousand nine hundred eighty nine and the new zealand human rights commission fourteen thousand seven hundred and six dollars and if we go across into the other um Advertisers as well that are also spending money. You can see um, Seek and Z, one thousand and sixty-eight dollars, and you can really push it right back to some of the advertisers that have maybe not spent a lot of money at all, but um, maybe your competitors. So you can actually go in and have a look at you know whether or not um, some of these people have been uh, spending money on Facebook and Instagram and you know, you can then go in and do some research on them as well, because it might bring up some names that you might be familiar with in your competition, but you don't quite know enough about yet. So that's another cool little feature um, of the ad library as well. And just coming back to uh, the homepage now, it's also got a range of frequently asked questions right here at the bottom. And it answers some of the big questions, which uh, people have about social issue, politics, uh, do I need a Facebook ad account to use the ad library? The answer to that, of course, is no, you don't. Anybody can use it. And, you know, I'm going to leave it there for today because I don't want to overcomplicate it and I want you to have a chance to go and use the Facebook ads library. And I'll include a link to uh, the main ads library section in the description box below. So thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.